So today I'm going to take a look at uh, a modern contemporary pen from my collection. It's a uh, actually I shouldn't say contemporary. It's actually been around for many many years. I believe the first uh, makes of this pen came out in the '60s, so it's actually a classic. We'll call it a classic, but it's a contemp It's a new pen, relatively new. Uh, and this is the Pilot Vanishing Point, sometimes referred to as the Pilot Capless. And it's one of those pens that uh, it's a really interesting little piece of technology. It's a unusual design. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Other people are really curious about it and are thinking about getting it, or, but are a little worried about a couple things about it. So I'm just going to run through uh, some uh, how I feel about this little pen. I shouldn't say little. It's actually a good size pen. Um, the pen is uh, designed almost like a ballpoint in that you push down on this button and the nib pops out. Uh, there is no cap. It's a capless vanishing point is what it's a uh, fountain pen. Uh, and it is a fountain pen. Um, usually when uh, you take the cap off a fountain pen and you leave it off too long, the ink will dry out. And they came up with an interesting little piece of technology uh, to make it uh, so that the ink in, on the nib won't dry out. And if you look in that little hole there, there's a little door and that closes when the nib is retracted and it keeps the ink from drying out. And when you press the uh, plunger at the bottom, the little door, I will show you here, the little door will open and the nib will sort of pop out. And there it is. It's a gold nib. Um, it's a metal pen. It's very well made. It's, uh, and as I've, it's one of those pens that always intrigued me when I looked at it at them first. I thought they looked a little awkward considering the place, placement of the clip essentially. But as I've grown to use it and, and uh, become more experienced with this pen, I've really grown to love the look of the pen. I find the design unique. Um, there aren't any other pens that look Quite like this. There's a couple other vanish. There's a couple other capless pens, fountain pens on the market now, but this one is the one that I really ad admire the the look of. It's a, I think it's a beautiful pen. Um, we're just going to so when you put the cap back in, when the you want to retract the nib, you press down the button and it pops in. I'm just going to. There's no ink in this t at the moment, so I'm just going to undo the the barrel. And inside, you're going to find the nib mechanism. And it's a very interesting design. Uh, it's all sort of one piece. You can see the nib here at the end. And it's a very uh, small nib in some ways compared to, say, you know, what uh, a lot of nibs are nowadays. But I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful writer. Um, and it has, this is a fine point. And there you can see the feed. And so there's a barrel. And at the back is a converter. The only problem I have with the converter is you can't quite, <laughs> at times, see how much ink is in your, in your, uh, your pen. And you can see as I turn the, the knob, you can see the, 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 converter, the converter plunger going up and down. Um, pull it back it's like it, so yeah you'll just see a little bit of ink there when you get a full when you get it filled and I like to um, match my inks with my pens and what I often what I always put in this one is diamine ancient copper uh, very lovely uh, color and one thing I've discovered about myself is that I own a lot of red inks <laughs> I would think I'd like black or or blue more, but I seem to have burgundies and sort of um, uh, reddish oranges and colors like that that I really like. So I'm going to set the mechanism in and just turn the knob a couple times, get a nice fill, and pull it back, make sure it's there. Whoops, I'm just going to get a piece of paper towel to clean the the mechanism off so it's not too messy and one thing about fountain pens is yeah you do get ink on yourself <laughs> now just to uh, put the cap on so I don't spill ink everywhere 
set that aside. Now then, there's a little trick to it. You have to line it all up. And if you look at the uh, threading mechanism, you'll see a little slot. And that's to guide you uh, in carefully. There's a little, little, almost like a little knob or a little button on the, on the, uh, just above the converter there, and that lines up with that slot. So if you look there, that's the best way to do it. You don't have to push it in. That's going to be taken care of when you put the uh, the barrel back together, and just screw that in, nice and tight. Don't go too tight. You don't need to. Um, now, some people and myself, when I first got the pin, I was worried that I wouldn't like the placement of the clip. The clip is there. Uh, it's designed so that when you put the pen in your pocket, the nib will be pointing upwards. This the clip goes over the, uh, you know, over over the edge of a pair of pants or a shirt pocket, or even say inside a bag, there might be a little loop that you can put your pen on. So the nib is uh, pointing upwards so that it won't leak. It, it's just a little uh, design uh, element that uh, makes the pen better to use. But if you look at it, you'll see that there's sort of an indentation there on the clip. How it has sort of, you know, it's wider here, but up here it sort of dips in. And when you run your fingers fingers on it, it actually feels quite nice. And that's kind of uh, designed to help you hold the pen. So when I'm holding it, my fingers automatically gravitate towards that spot. I'm not holding it here, which if I if the whole nib uh, if the whole clip had been wide, I would actually be quite, uh, un I'd probably find it uncomfortable. But where it thins out and your fingers go in, it it's actually a, makes for a nice grip section. And it makes it very comfortable to hold. Not every person is going to like this clip. And some people aren't going to like the pen. But if you're interested in the pen and you're looking at it, just hold it in your hand, line it up with that with little indentation there, and just uh, give, uh, give it a feel and, and, uh, and uh, try it out. Also, sometimes if you're in a city or a town where there's a pen club, you might want to go down some night and just see uh, what people have in their collections. Pen, you know, pen clubs are a great way to find out about pens. Uh, people are always willing to uh, let you try out a new pen or show you an, a new pen and tell you about things. Fountain pen people love to exchange information. It's one of the great parts of the hobby. It's kind of a social thing at times. Uh, you know, fountain pen fanatics are fanatics, and they love to convert other people to the cause. So I'm just going to give you a quick writing sample. Pop out the nib. I love the click it makes. It makes such a nice little satisfying sound, you know. And um, <laughs> all these little things with fountain pens that people like, you know, the sound of caps going on and off and the sound of nibs on paper. It's a part of the hobby. It's just, you know, part of the pleasure of writing, you know, so so a quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. I find it really hard to write and talk at the same time. I wonder if other people are like that. As, anyway, I love this ink with this pen. It just seems to suit it. I, you know, uh, <laughs> it's one of those little uh, obsessions that I've developed where I would be driven crazy if I put a green ink in this pen. I think it would just not seem right to me. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the other color it comes in, the pen comes in a black and gold, which is equally beautiful. I got this one. Uh, at the bookmark in Charlottetown here. It's a local bookstore that has a great selection of pens. And I was looking at the two models and uh, there was a black and gold one and there was this, you know, sort of beautiful uh, burgundy and gold one. And I got this color mainly because I have a lot of black pens. And it's I'm a surprising number of black and gold pens and I just wanted something a little different and I'm very pleased with it. It's a beautiful pen and I love the ink that I put in it. It's the Diamine Ancient Copper. Diamine is an English brand and they make really nice uh, really nice inks. I, their colors are strong and beautiful and they're very you know forgiving inks and 
they all have certain characteristics. As I put this color down uh, on the paper, it's I can as it dries, it almost seems to darken a bit, which is really nice to watch. You know, as you're writing a page or something, it, you can just see the inks uh, drying and the color shifting just a little bit. And it's just one of those pleasurable things about writing with fountain pens. You know, you can hear the feedback, but it's a very smooth writer. Um, one that I quite like a lot. It's a, uh, you know, it's by by no means what I would say an in, in, uh, inexpensive pen. It's but it is a good uh, if you're looking if you're in the fountain pen hobby, and you're thinking about trying out a gold nib, getting your first gold nib pen. Uh, this is a very good uh, pen to choose if you're looking for your first gold nib. Um, it comes in a smaller size i call it the decima and uh it's uh i i don't have an example of that but this is a a nice size pen it uh you know as you can see compared to say a twisby it's actually just a little bit smaller in some cases you know, try, retract when you when you uh, retract the nib it's actually probably the length of the of a twisby echo and this is it compared to a palette metropolitan which it's a little longer it's a heavier pen than either of these pens by just a couple grams but it's uh you know it, you it's not uncomfortable for long long writing sessions uh it doesn't dry out you know every time i've gone to use it it's started right up and uh it's a pen i would highly recommend but if you're thinking about it and you're a little weary leery of uh, getting it because you don't you're unsure about the clip and just ask to hold it Tr check it out feel how you know pick it up feel it in the hand and uh, give it a try it's a very I find it a very comfortable pen to use beautiful shape it's interesting design you're not going to see too many pens that look like it um, and it's uh, I think this pen I can honestly say is built to last uh, you can actually buy complete units for in, uh, for the nib. You can buy the whole unit, uh, so that's available. So if you do damage it in some way, you can ex you know you can uh, exchange the the in inside parts of the pen uh, for a different nib size. And uh, anyway, so I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I would really you know be happy if you sub subscribe to my channel. It's a uh, it's fun watching uh, how the channel works and seeing new subscribers and and I really if you have any thoughts on the the, viol the the pilot vanishing point I'd love to hear them I'm always interested in your comments I'm actually gaining lots of insight you know through conversations with other YouTubers so thank you very much have a great day.